Creating a web page, Dreamweaver 2018, the basics to adding styles with CSS Designer. Greetings, Webbies. Now let's add a few simple styles to our basic HTML page using CSS Designer. And remember, there are three ways to add styles, inline, internal, and external. Inline is really to be avoided. It's a hassle and it's sort of frowned upon in the day of HTML5. Internal styles can be used when necessary. The ideal is external styles. Because we just have one page right now, we're going to start with internal styles. Rather than do this by hand, we're going to let CSS Designer help us as a way to become familiar with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is on my right side of the screen, I can see I have my panel tab. If you're not seeing all your panel tabs, you can go to Window, Workspace Layout, and Reset Workspace. It would say we Reset Standard. I have a specialized workspace down here right now, so mine doesn't say Standard, but yours will say Reset Standard. Okay, so I'm going to click CSS Designer. First thing I have to do is add a source. I'm going to tell Dreamweaver where I want these styles to go. So I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to define in page. That's going to create my internal CSS styles in the head. So watch my code, what happens. So you notice inside the head of my CSS page, Dreamweaver added an opening and a closing style. So that's where all my styles are going to go. Now I have media here because eventually I'll be adding media queries to make it responsive, but, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Don't panic. So here I'm going to click style because that's where I want my style to go into the internal style. And then I'm going to click global. Right now it's global. So we're just going to get in the habit of directing it where we want it to go. We have no other options now. So now I'm going to select H1 because that's where I'm going to add my first style. And I see a plus sign beside selectors. So I'm going to click the plus sign. And you can see now I have body H1. Well, everything's inside the body tag, so I don't need that. No hassle going in, cutting it out. I can just click my up arrow and it will make it less specific. So now I have my H1 tag, which means this style is going to be applied to every heading one that I have on this page. Right now I have one in one, so that's fine. Okay, so now I want to see what properties I have available. I'm going to grab so I can see these two arrows, and I'm going to drag my screen over just a bit so that in a jiffy I'll be able to see a little more than I can see right now. There we go. I like it split that way just because it's easier to look at. Okay, so what the first thing I'd like to do is change the color of my font. So as I scroll over, I can scroll down and look at everything, but it's easier if I go to the category that I'd like. So I want to go to text, but I can scroll over and I see I have layout, I have text, I have borders, I have background, and I have more. So this pretty much zones in on exactly where I want to add a style. So I'm going to click text. Now, if I don't see any options here, make sure that the show set box is not selected. On some screens, it, it's hidden, so you might have to drag your Dreamweaver window over to see that, but this is what it looks like if show screen is selected. Everything just disappears. So when you create that style, if there's no, if you're seeing nothing, make sure that show set is not checked. Really common problem. Everybody panics when this happens, and it, it's set by default that way sometimes so it happens to everybody this way it won't hold you back because you're going to know why it happened so we're going to click text and now i'm going to change the color of the text so in here at color i can just click on this little box and then i can select my color i want a really pretty dark blue so i'm going to go nice and dark blue then i'm going to click away from that i'm going to hit enter and you can see I added the dark blue. Okay, now we're, next we're going to add a font family to our H1 tag. And we still got it selected, so that's still where it's going to go. I'm not going to go into font families in detail other than to just pick one right now because that will be an entire video in itself. Just for this basic video, I'm going to say click on font family. I want a sans serif font. So I'm going to go to just the first sans serif font that I come to. All right, there we go. So Gil Sans is my option. And then if 
that's not available it'll default to the next one etc 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 at this point that's all you need to know we'll work on font families and font stacks on down the line but you don't need that right at this moment okay so we've added a color and a font family to our h1 that's all we're going to do right now now let's click on the body tag because I'd like to do something to the background. So I'm going to select the body tag. And usually I just have to select that part right there. Now I'm going to go back. Remember, I'm going to click style because I want it to be in my internal style sheet. And I'm going to click global because we're getting in the habit of telling it where to go. And we want it to go everywhere. And then I'm going to hit the plus sign. And I see I have body. That's exactly what I want. So yippee. Now I am ready to click away. When I click enter, I should see my options if I don't see it go make sure show set is not checked and now I'm going to do something to the background I'm going to change the color of the background then I'm going to click on background and then my background color I'm going to select that and I want my background color to be a really really pale super pale blue so really blue and really really light that's hardly a color at all but just a smidgen background color that's going to do the background body and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, awesome. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is paragraph. So, because I have two paragraph tags, what I do to one is going to happen to both of them. And for right now, we're not going to distinguish any farther than that because this is going to be super simple. So, I'm going to click on the P tag. And remember, style, because I want it to go in the internal style sheet. Global, because I want it to apply to everything. And then I'm going to hit the selectors plus sign. And now I have body P. Well, everything's inside the body tag. That's redundant. I don't need it. Rather than going down there and clicking all over the place, I'm just going to hit the up arrow, and it will make it less specific. And now I'm going to hit enter, and my options should magically appear. If they don't, it's because the show set is checked usually. Sometimes you can't see this, and you'll have to drag your screen over. I'm saying that two or three times because it's really important. I get questions about that all the time. I just want you to remember. If it's invisible, Find the show set. Make sure it's unchecked. That's usually the issue. Okay, so for the paragraph, again, we're going to just change the font. So I'm going to go to text. And this time, I want something really simple. I don't want a whole, I really don't need a whole font stack. I just want something pretty basic. So in here, I'm just going to type Arial. Now, you'll notice in the font stack that we did before that you can see on the left, some of them are in quotes. Some of the fonts are in quotes. Some aren't. If the name of your font is more than one word, if there's a space in it, it has to be in quotes. Helvetica and Arial are not, so they are not in quotes. We're just going to make the font family for the paragraphs Arial. So A-R-I-A-L. And that's pretty much on every computer in the world, so I don't have to worry about somebody not having it. If I pick something weird and off the wall, I have to make sure that I have some generic things for it to default to in case somebody doesn't have that installed on their computer. That's why web fonts are wonderful, but that's another tutorial all in itself. Okay, so now we've created our page and added a few internal styles. So I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go Save All. So I'm finished using my CSS Designer. And in our next tutorial, we'll go back to the Files panel and we'll upload to the server. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.